your Desert Isle Crafting. I'm Christy. Hello everyone. How are you today? I hope you all are having a great day, a great Tuesday, that you had a good weekend. I know that um, we're doing great here. The weather's a little like a roller coaster. Sunday was 82. Now it's 62. Um, but that's okay. I love the cool down because the heat is going to hit us really fast. I just know it in a few weeks. Gorgeous outside. Absolutely beautiful. Poppies blooming everywhere. Got these big poppy blooms. We took a drive on Sunday and went and looked at them some more, um, which is really rare. It doesn't happen out here. We, we got so much rain this winter that um, the deserts of Arizona are like alive. Green and purple and lots of grass and it's just amazing. It's actually, I never thought I would love the desert, but there is so much beauty in the desert that I never realized was there. I'm doing great as far as my crafting goes. I have one almost finished. I'm going to show you in a minute. But before we start, a huge hello and thank you to all my subscribers. My, my channel has really grown and it's really touched me that you guys have liked my videos enough to subscribe. If you do like this video, please hit that like button because it makes a massive difference with how much YouTube pushes my videos out there. I thank you all so very much for taking time out of your day to watch my channel. So FGOBY, it, what I like about them is they are exclusively cross-stitch. They don't have diamond painting. They don't have resin. They don't have any of the other things. And I think when you focus on just one thing, you tend to do it really well. Their selection is vast. I mean, thousands upon thousands of different pictures to choose from. So let's get going on this so I can show you what they have. Now, I did check their website before I made this video because I was going to get you prices of what these cost. Everything except one thing in this is sold out. So you will find these on other shops' websites. Please shop around. Please check your prices, compare your prices, and keep an eye on the shipping charges because those have all gone up. Now this one, I love the style of these. I call these partials. Can't see it real good though because that sticker. So let's take it out and take a look at it. I'm gonna move these out of the way a little bit. Okay, here we go. This is called Seed Buckthorn. It is a Joy Sunday kit. Now you can see there's lots of back stitching on this and it's looking like French knots. I'll probably do beads in place of it this has a whole lot of back stitching, but then it's got the areas in here that are white where you don't stitch at all. And I just think that's a really, really cool look. So after I show you this one, I'm going to show you the one that I've almost completed. They're 14 count, use two strands. Here's the pattern. So you can see here the back stitching on this is crazy. And these little guys, I think, are French knots. Let's see. Yeah, they're French knots. You've got two different colors for back stitching, And all together, you have 28 colors for this, which is quite a bit for something that's not real big. But this is a nice, clear pattern. Buckthorn. Sea buckthorn. I, I didn't even know that existed, but I really just liked the picture. So let's look at the actual canvas. So you see here, it's not real big. Let's see how clear it is. It looks really clear. They have gray lines here where all your back stitching is going to go, which is kind of funny considering that um, after you, you stitch the whole thing, you're not going to see those gray lines anymore. But that's when, when you refer back to this pattern for that. It's got your item number up here in case you need to get in touch with your customer service department if you run out of floss or if you notice any flaws or problems. The edges are all surged, which I think is a big plus. This is 91 stitches wide by 111 stitches tall. You've got your legend along the bottom and the sides just like you do here to refer back to. These patterns are great because if you see something on here and you're unsure of a symbol, you can use the grid. You can find that spot on your pattern to clarify what you're seeing. Now you can also just take a plain piece of Ada 
use this pattern let's say on an 11 count Ada fabric that's bigger you'll have a bigger picture and it might be easier for you to see on that some people can't do 14 count now that's really really pretty really interesting I think what I do here with these French knots is I would use beads in the corresponding color and then I, because you don't want to see thread lines going across the back underneath I would use some some of that um, clear transparent thread and then and then that you wouldn't be able to see them anywhere but yeah I think this is really pretty let's get a measurement on the actual picture itself not the not the Ada. Let's see what we got. So it's about six and a half inches by a little under eight inches. So it's small. It does have quite a bit of confetti. But that's okay. On these small ones, I'm working on one right now. I just do one color at a time because they are so small. I'll just pick a color and just do that symbol anywhere I see that color. So that's pretty. Let's look at the floss. Nice cotton floss. Lots of oranges. A whole lot of corals and oranges and yellows. And then you've got your greens back here. Very, very pretty color palette. Very pretty. Let's see if we can see it better like that. Yeah, I think this kit is really cute. And being that they're not real big and they do stitch up quickly, you can go through this, do this kit and then have a whole bunch, you know, have them framed. There's like 20 of these to choose from. There's tons of floral designs, trees, mountains in this kind of style. You could make a real pretty, pretty wall art with all these things. Okay, I want to show you the one I'm working on now that's similar. It's almost done except for the back stitching. So this is the daffodil one. And it's coming along really nicely. That's my little needle minder up there. And I just hold it in my hand and roll it up as I stitch. So I still have the orange up here and the blue in the flowers to do. And then I'll have all that back stitching to do on these daffodils. They call this Narcissus flower. I feel like sending them an email saying, I'm sorry, but it's a daffodil. And then what I'm going to do, because there are some spots in here that you were supposed to do French knots, is I'll just do some beads on them. But yeah, it's coming along really nicely. My back's a mess. But I'm not one of those sticklers on backs. So you can kind of get an idea of, of how this is going, what it's looking like. Beautiful. It's got all these greens. And I think I accidentally bought an extra one of these. So let's take a look at what I've, else I've gotten here. Okay, this is another one that I just thought was beautiful, and this is the poppies. Love the style. I think this, this whole video is going to be about style. What I didn't show you on the first kit, though, are these kits are great because they come in resealable pouches. You can use them for other things when you're done. Great for uh, storing your cross stitch in. And their instructions are, I think, the best because it tells you how to cross stitch. It tells you the stitches. And this one will have your French knot stitch, your full stitch, and your back stitch on this. So they give you great diagrams. It tells you how to soak these patterns to get the ink out of them afterwards. And just all kinds of great tips. So all these kits have these instructions on them. I think they're excellent. Really, really happy with that, especially for someone who's just starting out with cross stitch. I think something that doesn't have as much confetti would be good. Now this one, these poppies are looking like everything is in its square. They're not, the symbols aren't bleeding over into another square here. These dots here are all for French knots, which will, or beads, and I, I'm a big bead girl. I don't care for French knots um, but like I said in the in the one I just showed you this will these dots will all be covered up with your stitching and that's when you go back to your pattern here to find out where to place them 
This is 99 stitches wide by 98 stitches tall. So let's get a measurement on this and see what size this is. This is a nice small one. I mean, it's seven inches by, oh, maybe almost seven and a quarter inches. It's got your item number. It's got your legend. It's got your chart, uh, your, why can't I think they're straight? Your chart, charting here on the side. So if you have to look for something, you can find it uh, to get clarification on maybe your pattern. If you're unsure about a symbol and the edges are searched like the other one was, which is just an added plus. I love that fact that they do that. Now, when I look at the pattern, you can see by the yellow and the blue lines, because this one has, I think, two different colors. So the blue and yellow lines is all going to be backstitching. These black dots that have a K in them are all going to be your French knots. Got a whole lot of backstitching in here. But with the areas here in the middle that are white where you don't stitch, I just think that gives it a super cool look. 19 colors, two different French knot colors, two different backstitch colors. Let's see, when we look at the picture, so it looks like some of the backstitching will be in white and some will be in black. Very, very easy to read, very easy to mark if you need to with a pen. Now let's look at the floss for this. Wow, look at all the oranges and reds. So nice cotton floss. It's almost all reds and oranges. It's very, very pretty. And then the black and white for your back stitching on this. This would be also, I think these kits, this style of kits, if you're not real practiced in back stitching, and it's not hard, it really isn't. You just gotta really pay attention and focus. So that is something that I do when my husband's not home or else I just get too distracted. You get three needles here with this kit in a little baggie. The colors are just beautiful. So many different shades of orange and red and coral. These poppies will pop. They will definitely pop, especially once you get all that back stitching done. Very, very, very pretty. Okay. Oh, here we go. I thought I ordered another one. So this is the same exact kit as this one. So it is coming along great. This is what it's going to look like. And lots of back stitching on this too. I'm hoping to have this done by the weekend and then I can show it finished to you all with everything rinsed off next week. That's my goal. I will just run through this one really quickly because I've already shown this kit before. I don't know what's wrong with me. I keep track of stuff, but sometimes I don't know. Just my mind's not there, I think. Now they call this, like I said, Narcissus flower, but we know that it's a daffodil, 30 colors, great pattern. Definitely will need this pattern, if not for anything else, for all the backstitching, which is in red. So it has two different backstitch colors, white and black, French knot colors, which I'm going to use beads for. And yeah, this is going to be gorgeous when it's done. The colors in this kit, I've enjoyed so much as I've stitched it. So many shades of greens and yellows is basically what it is. Greens and yellows. And they just scream spring to me. They're so pretty. So, so pretty. Let's see if I get that light off. It's a little better. But yeah, just so many pretty colors of green and yellow. They make me happy. This picture's made me really happy making it. Okay, now... This is what I got, $4.99 for these scissors, which I thought was a great price, and I think they're really pretty. I like to, being that these scissors aren't that expensive, if I can get a pair of scissors every once in a while, 
I like to put them in the kits I'm working on. So what does this say? It says European Classical Scissors. High quality stainless steel. Perfect for cross stitch embroidering, sewing, quilting. Extremely sharp, used with caution. Yeah, I agree they are. But aren't those pretty? And then I'll just stick this in um, my project bag. And that way I'll always have a pair of scissors in there. They're just so pretty. Look at those. For $4.99, I thought that was a pretty good price. You can find scissors cheaper, but I haven't found this black and gold before. And that's why I had to get them, because I thought they were so pretty. Okay, I think I've got one more cross stitch in here today. Ah, uh, the sunflowers. Love these sunflowers, too. Now, all of these are 14 count. So here we go. We can look at it without the glare. The sunflowers with the sun shining down on them in the sky. We'll take a measurement on this one, too. Looking at the pattern, holy moly, look at the back stitching on that. Wow. That's going to take a little time. And then all these little, the black middles of them are all French knots. I'm just going to get some black beads, some shiny black beads, and put them in there. So pretty. Just fill that right up with those beads. This has 20 colors, two different colors of French knots, and two different colors of backstitch. And this is 100 by 100 stitches wide. Let's do a measurement on this. So here is the actual canvas. I, I call this, is this canvas or cloth? Um, you've got your legend. You've got your item number. Let's do a measurement and see what size it is. So it's 7 and an eighth by about seven and a quarter almost, a little over. Now this does have a lot of confetti. It's printed very, very clearly, like the other ones are. This whole series of these, I call them well, partial flowers, um, the design, I just think is, is just so pretty. And when we all have these big kits that we're doing, I think it's nice to take a break every once in a while and do something just a little bit smaller. Yeah, that looks really nice as far as the printing goes. Very easy to read, and you can see they've got the back stitching on here all in gray. Let's look at the actual floss. This kind of reminds me of the daffodil floss because it's, it's oranges and yellows and a lot of greens. A whole lot of greens, very soft floss. This has a great, um, this is my favorite floss organizer. They give you two needles here, but this has the actual product number on it. it. Tells you 14 count. It gives you the color chart, not just the numbers, but the numbers in, in the corresponding color along with the DMC codes, and then how much floss they give you for each color, which I think is great. I just really love this color charting on here. And the fact that they do the DMC codes, um, they all do. I just, you know, you run out. Sometimes you don't want to get a hold of customer service because if it's coming from another country, it could take a while to get here. And if you happen to have that spare color, if the tones match and they're not off, then you can just use that, but you'll at least know what color it is you need. So yet yeah, this is the sunflowers. Now that is just beautiful. So we've got these gorgeous sunflowers. And then we've got the daffodils. And let's see, the poppies. And last but not least, the seed buckthorn. 
but they're so pretty. I think I have more coming too, and let's not forget the scissors. Please check out these styles. Um, like I said, they've got trees and mountains, and uh, there's probably at least 20 different ones, and they're just so pretty. Perfect way to practice your backstitching if you're doing a big project that you need it for. Um, yeah, you'll definitely be, be a pro by the time you finish one of these, that's for sure. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have links down below for FGOBY. A huge thank you to them for sending me these items for review. I hope you enjoyed it and that you'll go check them out. Yeah, I want those scissors pretty. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. I'd appreciate that. Have a great day, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.